just wanted to uh, turn the valve on and check it all spins. Hello Miles here. If you're familiar with my channel and some of my other videos you'll know that um, I have quite a lot of use for little tiny micro hydro generators uh, for charging batteries usually underground and I've been after a very low power one um, but one that's going to be really really reliable and I've tried a few different ones from different manufacturers and I haven't really been entirely pleased with what I've found so now I found this guy called Victor Wagner on uh, on eBay and he's uh, he's selling various homemade really small Pelton wheel turbines like three phase output low voltage and they look really really well made very rugged and they weren't actually um, particularly expensive. Now this particular unit I believe it's 500 watts maybe 550 watts I can't quite remember. From memory I think think the the input is one inch bsp but we'll have a look at that when we open it i remember seeing on the listing they were pretty basic in terms of construction but very very rugged which is exactly what i need so without further ado let's open the box and see what we got just while i'm opening this let's say i paid uh, i think it was about 400 euros for this turbine which is uh, about 280 British pounds, I think. So it wasn't huge money. What was really annoying, if not entirely predictable, is that uh, always in the past when I used to buy anything from Germany or any European country, it would just arrive the next day or two, no problem. This one didn't arrive. In fact, it, uh, it was stalled in customs for about a week. And then I got a £93 bill for import taxes and customs processing and handling. £93 on top of a £280 turbine. It's all just you know, Brexit nonsense, really. Um, okay. Well, I am interested to see this. I know they, they make things really well in Germany, so... I'm sure this is a fantastic bit of kit. I have high hopes. Okay, let's get it out of the box. It's quite heavy, that's a good sign. all dusty it's obviously come out of the, the guy's workshop so there's your three phase output it's quite low voltage I think I can't quite remember um, what you said but at, at four revs it's something like 60 volts it doesn't seem to have included any information about it I guess I'll have another look at the website but let's have a look underneath okay what's well, the the business end there's your Pelton. So there's the nozzle. And it looks like that has been ground to a very specific point. Presumably quite optimised for this wheel. I like the way the cups actually go between uh, or around the nozzle. So the nozzle actually goes between the, uh, the cups. That's suggestive that it's in a, the very op most optimal place. Um, the hub is obviously some kind of I don't know, steel, aluminium, stainless steel probably. How many cups have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 cups. Yep. I don't know if that nozzle is adjustable. I don't think it is. I think it's preset. Yeah, I can see actually down the hole there's, there's nothing that... There's no screw thread, so that is preset. Well, that's fine. That looks to me like one inch BSP, one inch pipe thread. Um, 
which is fine. I can work with that very easily. The case is made from these thick sheets of what looks like PVC. Looks like about 20 mil, three quarter inch, something like that. Very, very rugged. The top plate is thinner um, and still pretty thick. And there's your alternator on the top, your three phase alternator, which has got a cap, a cap on it, if, uh, presumably, so you can grease the top bearing. The alternator doesn't seem to have any kind of maker's plate on it, so I couldn't tell you who made that. It looks very good. Looks like it's made. These look like stainless to me. I think they are. Um, yeah. So I don't know who made it, but it looks it looks good. It's well made. The the turbine itself. There's a bit of resistance on there, but that just feels like the magnets moving past the um, the stutters. Yeah. It feels confidence inspiring. It's tight, there's no movement or play on the bearings. Yeah, very simple. Definitely function over form. Quite crude, if anything, but you know, that's not actually, you know, a good thing. If anything, with something like a Pelton wheel, you want it to be really tough. No fancy frilly stuff. I've just come outside now and just rigged this up as a bit of a, a temporary job. And I've got the garden hose coming to the nozzle there. Um, I managed to sort of fix that up with some uh, some unions. And I've just placed the the turbine on this, this grate that will just let the water flow away a bit like a, a little waterfall, I suppose. And I very crudely um, lashed up the, the wires to the, this... Um, uh, bridge rectifier so that uh, I'll actually get a DC output on the meter here hopefully now what I really must say is um, this is a garden hose it's not going to produce anything like the amount of power that the that the machine can I mean the, the garden hose is a, it's a half inch hose for one thing um, for a turbine designed for a, a one inch inlet which is an enormous difference um, but I'm just curious to see how it does I'll just come over here hopefully get not too sprayed of water I'm probably going to get some water on my on my legs let's uh, turn it on and see what happens right, it's starting to spin a bit somewhere where you can see it All right. That's, that's about it for this water supply. About 23 volts, slightly more. Not quite sure what sort of ampage that is and how it translates to watts. That requires further experimentation. Right, here we go, I've made some changes. Um, you can see from the alternator goes into a bridge rectifier, uh, same as before. Two wires come out and go into this uh, MPPT charge controller and then to a 12 volt battery. So you can get an idea of what sort of power comes off this, uh, this device when it's connected to my garden hose. Um, please pay no attention to the color scheme or standard of wiring um, on this rig. It's uh, it's not as it should be. That should be black and red, and there should be better terminals than that. But you know, this is just a uh, very brief experiment. I don't know if you can see the screen there. Uh, it's in bright sun. I don't know if if that helps. No, probably not. It's basically saying zero because there's nothing going through it. So let's turn the tap on. 
get it spinning. Uh, I'll talk you through it because I know you can't see it. The MPPT is bringing the voltage down and it's hunting now. The MPPT is hunting for the best, uh, the best ratio speed to voltage. It's showing me there uh, 23 watts, which is not bad considering it's on my garden hose. So there's 23 watts going into that battery uh, from the uh, from the garden hose water supply. That's not bad for a garden hose. You're not going to be able to smelt aluminium on it, but you know it's a. Uh, Better than nothing. What we really need to do now is go and try it on a slightly more powerful water supply. Well I've come underground now to where I want to install this turbine. Uh, this is the old one, the one I'm going to be replacing today. Um, it's a perfectly well made little thing, it works absolutely fine. Um, it's running off a head of water that is I'm not quite sure actually, it's a good 60 odd meters, um, if not a bit more, uh, but through a one inch pipe, it's a little bit fatter here, but the, the incoming feed is, is only one inch. It runs a very long way, so there's a lot of resistance in it, um, but it does have a good head of water. Uh, this uh, little thing only produces me about 15 watts here. Um, I've previously tested that, which is one of the reasons why I'm changing it for this other one, but I am it's gonna give me a bit more power. The reason why it only produces 15 watts is that this is intended for a much larger um, feed pipe so the, um, the, the nozzle inside this is actually much bigger um, than is ideal for this type of uh, water supply. You can't really see it in there but now this is um, really optimized for a high flow lower head setup whereas here in the mine I've got a um, more of a low flow high head type thing so I'm hoping that the new turbine will well I'd really like to see it reach 100 watts ideally that would be great I'm going to try it in just a moment uh, so what I'm going to do is just uh, unplumb all this and set it all up with uh, the new turbine and uh, see what we get and just part way through uh, this job here so I've just got that sat there I just thought that um, while it's disconnected, I'd just show you what the water supply looks like when the, the tap's open. Uh, so back here I've got the, the main uh, valve. And uh, just to show you what it looks like visually in a very non-scientific way. Doesn't look very uh, exciting. Uh, but. When you restrict that through a nozzle, the pressure will build up uh, quite considerably. Uh, it does seem to be drawing a little bit of air, which is a bit disconcerting. You can see little bubbles coming out, which means there's probably a break or a, a loose fitting further up the pipe somewhere, uh, somewhere near the top, I expect. Uh, anyway, there you go. I thought I'd show you two. Um, I need a length of one inch. BSP mail to, to mail to, to hook these up. Uh, I didn't have anything to hand actually, but a bit of scouting around, I found this old bit of steel pipe or iron. Don't know what it is. Know how old it is. Um, but that's perfect. Just what I need. I've been um, just tidying it up with a wire brush uh, with a bit more TLC. This will be uh, ideal for what I need. All right, that's plumbed in. It seems to be quite a good fit. Uh, nothing's connected up yet. Just want to clear, uh, turn the valve on and check it all spins. Yeah, that's definitely working. You can hear it splutter in the air though, that's a bit of a shame. That'll require some investigation another day, but what I'm gonna do now is just hook this up to the um, charge controller and see what sort of output I get. Right, I think we're looking good. 
bridge rectifier to uh, charge controller, charge controller to battery. And please don't judge me on my wiring, this is all just in the name of science. Uh, at least you can read the display a bit better this time. So PV, photovoltaic, um, because it's meant for solar panels, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's obviously zero at the moment, it's not making any watts at all. Uh, so if I scroll, how do you do it? Oh, there we go. So it says the battery is currently 12.1 volts. You can believe that. Um, and it's putting no amps into it. Well, no, it won't be because I've not turned it on yet. So, this is the moment of truth. I'm going to turn it on and we're going to give it just a very short time just to establish its peak power point because it's not going to give the right results straight away. Uh, we've got to give it a bit of time. Right, so. If it goes. You can hear it hunting around, trying to find the right... Um, the right ratio. Interestingly, you can see a little bit of leakage there. It doesn't matter. It's showing 37 watts, 36 watts, 35, 34. Weirdly, just going down and down. But the water supply isn't changing. I'm beginning to suspect something odd's going on. It might even be this old battery. Maybe it's just not taking a charge. So I might have a hunt around, see if I can change it for a different battery. Okay, different battery. Um, so it's a bigger one. It's um, not totally flat, but it's flat enough that it would be happy for a good charge. So. Let's open the valve and see what we get on this one. Wow, 87 watts. Must have been a problem with the other battery, just being a very tired, I expect it wouldn't take the, the power. This is pretty good. Uh, it's stabilized, about 86 watts now. I'm pretty pleased with that. I've just uh, turned it off again, just so I can speak without the sound of the water. Uh, that's pretty good, uh, 86 watts. I mean, that's really got to be close to the limit that you're going to get out of this um, water supply. Uh, I'm sure the turbine itself would go a fair bit more than that. In fact, um, the chap who made it rated it to, I think it was 550 watts. And I can well believe it'll do that, given enough water. Uh, but for down here, that, that's, that's very good. So it's only a one inch pipe. Um, it's, it's a very, very long pipe, so there's going to be a lot of resistance in that. Um, I mean, really, in an ideal world, you'd have something like a four inch pipe coming to this and just dropping down to, to a one inch right at the turbine. Uh, and then you'd see some, some massive figures. But for the given water supply, that's very good. And I've no doubt, really, that this uh, turbine will continue making that power. Um, well, not indefinitely, but I think it's going to last a long time. So. What I'm going to do now is hook it up into the electrical system proper and uh, that's job done. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that's been uh, interesting to you. I'll put a link to the turbine that I bought uh, in the description. Uh, I will say the, the guy who made it um, did do other ones as well. I think there was one that was smaller and there were certainly several that were larger than this. Um, which I didn't bother with because I knew the water supply here would be a limiting factor. So. This feels like the right sort of size. Uh, okay, well, thanks for watching and uh, catch you again soon.